First, let me explain what I mean by this. The American Rescue Plan Act was the most current piece of legislation that was introduced in Washington, District of Columbia, with the intention of assisting individuals who are experiencing difficulties. Despite the fact that this bill included a number of components, the component that was most beneficial to all parents was the one that increased the child tax credit. The additional funds that were provided by the child tax credit were not accessible until the year 2021. In 2022, parents were unable to receive the stimulus money. Hence, there is a significant probability that lawmakers will take action once more in 2023 to provide families with more funds for the child tax credit. Those individuals who do not have children or who do not require stimulus should also receive money from the stimulus package. However, what I truly mean is that beginning in the year 2022, the additional funds will no longer be accessible to anyone. There were already assistance checks sent by the American Rescue Plan totaling $1,400. However, we are all aware that this was not sufficient. As a result of the benefit, parents with children fewer than six years old received a tax credit of $3,600 each. For the purpose of the get back, this money was made. The money was distributed to the people. They are now the rightful owners of these funds, which were donated to the people. In addition, parents of older children were approached and offered $3,000 for each of their children. However, you did not receive the money since you did not have sufficient taxes to substantiate your claim for the credit. In addition, families found the higher child tax credit to be beneficial because it began being distributed to them on a monthly basis beginning in June, rather than waiting until after they had completed their taxes. In addition to receiving the money during tax season, families were able to receive it at any time. Therefore, they might be able to see their money go toward paying off their previous tax payments. They received money in their bank account on a monthly basis, beginning in June and continuing through December. But the credit had a significant role in reducing the number of children living in poverty, and it provided parents with the much-needed breathing room they required. It was no longer there after that. One of the most important goals that the Democrats had for the previous year was to keep this credit available, but Joe Biden was unable to make it happen. During the time when they were most in need of the stimulus checks, they were not distributed to the appropriate individuals. Mainly due to the fact that this week, the administration of Vice President Joe Biden disclosed additional details regarding its intention to alter the existing income-based payback plan. The updated Pays You Earn plan is the name given to this particular strategy. Individuals will receive checks as a means of assistance under this strategy. In the event that this bill were to become law, it would be comparable to the laws of New York, Massachusetts, Maryland, Colorado, New Mexico, and even Maine. There would be a child tax credit allowed in Nebraska. Families with annual incomes of up to $75,000 would be eligible to receive a credit of $1,000 for each kid in their household. However, depending on the amount of money that they make, families that make more than that can receive a lower amount of credits. At this point, one official has even stated that there is no limit to the number of children that are insured, and that the number varies according to the individual's wealth. Additionally, it was stated by Conrad that the credit will provide the people of Nebraska with additional funds as well as the stimulus checks that practically everyone has been requesting. On the other hand, a number of legislators from all over the United States have made the decision to assist the Curie people who are struggling to make ends meet by providing them with the resources they require from the central government of the United States. Additionally, the government is required to distribute relief checks. As an illustration, the governor of New York has already stated that he intends to alter the manner in which individuals obtain services and benefits in order to improve the operational efficiency of the government for the benefit of the people of New York. The state will make significant modifications to the technology that is utilized by state agencies in order to simplify things and enhance the care that is provided to children. Every single person in the United States ought to begin receiving the stimulus payment. It's wonderful to see Joe Biden taking the necessary steps to succeed. Currently, there is a lot of news going around and fresh ideas are being examined at this very moment. It makes perfect sense. A tremendously positive impact on the individuals who are eligible for Social Security. 
In an effort to prevent each and every person from having their benefits from Social Security reduced, Joe Biden is making a significant decision regarding this matter. Senior senators from both parties are working to ensure that Social Security payments are maintained throughout this time. Everyone in the District of Columbia is aware of the fact that Social Security is experiencing difficulties. It is sufficient for them to pay attention to the statements made by the federal government and the program managers. According to the most recent report, the trustees have stated that the pooled trust funds for Social Security are reaching the point where they are running out of money and the program will be terminated in the year 2034. However, there are some individuals in Washington who are working on measures to prevent the program from using up all of its available funds. Senator Bill Cassidy, a Republican, recently discussed what he referred to as a big idea in a film that was produced by the Bipartisan Policy Center that was recently released. This could prevent approximately 70% of the loss that was anticipated for the program. Creating an investment fund that is completely distinct from the trust funds that are already in place for Social Security is the plan that is being considered. They believe that an investment fund would invest money in the stock market rather than in government bills or cash, which is what Social Security trust funds do at the moment. He compared the current administration of Social Security to that of the Silicon Valley Bank of Pension Funds, which is a reference to the bank that was acquired by First Citizens Bank. Currently, he stated that this federal program is the worst approach to invest your money that you could ever find. However, the separate fund is not really a novel concept because he is referring to funds such as the Canada Plan and the Ontario Pensions Plan for teachers that were having difficulty meeting their financial obligations, but were able to do so by employing a market-based strategy. There are still certain problems that need to be resolved. It is the belief of some individuals that the prepared strategy would be a means of ensuring that the stock market would not suffer too much in the event that they were to lose money. It was stated by Cassidy that the leaders of both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party need to take immediate action over Social Security. When it comes to preserving Social Security, the President and Congress do not have a lot of options to choose from. Nonetheless, they can either increase the amount of money they collect, reduce the amount of payments they make, or do both. The vice president has been extremely vocal in his opposition to the reduction of benefits, and Senator Cassidy has also stated that it is not appropriate to do so. If there is no action taken, the benefits will be significantly reduced. It is recommended that individuals in the United States who have not yet retired put as much money as they can into retirement accounts in order to be prepared for the gap. As part of the agreement, Senator Cassidy stated that the arrangement was finalized. March is the month that those who receive SSI will receive their first two installments. Before that time arrives, there are still six days to go. What about the initial payment? According to the Social Security Administration, it is scheduled to be distributed on March 1 and will be around $914 in value. Additionally,